Hello everyone, I'm Marcus Sarun and I welcome you to the 24 webcast. Coming up on the next 24 News. Hello everyone, I'm Marcus Sarun and coming up next we will have your top headlines including a thunderstorm watch that has been issued across the whole state of Connecticut. It did expire at 6 p.m. but they are still moving away from uh, Fairfield County as well as New Haven County. We we'll also have information on the Peter Pan peanut butter that was recalled back last year. 24 News has been bringing you that story since last year when it did break and more people are sick now. We'll have more information on that as well as your other top stories. Also tonight we'll have some celebrity news and a disgraceful story that will bring shame to the Bennett family. 24 News has the exclusive information. We will have all those stories and more coming up next on 24 News. 24 News starts right now. Now, with all your news in one place, from WMMH-TV headquarters in Hamden, Connecticut, this is the 24 News webcast. Hello everyone, I'm Marcus Saru and I welcome you to 24 News. Today is June 1st, 2007. We will get to that exclusive story in just a few minutes, but we start right now with your headlines. We are just receiving news that State Senator Louis DeLuca was arrested today and charged with conspiracy to threaten someone. We, we have news now that he was abusing one of his family... No, he was... He is threatening someone that was abusing one of his family members. Chief State's Attorney Office says that DeLuca faces one misdemeanor count is due to appear Monday in Waterbury Superior Court. Authorities say the alleged offense took place in 2005. DeLuca was accused of conspiring with Danbury area businessman James Galante to threaten a person who DeLuca believed was abusing one of his relatives. They said the information leading to DeLuca's arrest stemmed from an investigation of racketeering activities and mob ties in the trash hauling industry. 29 people, including Galante, were charged in federal probe. DeLuca said in a statement today that he never wanted violence or any injury to the alleged perpetrator of this domestic dispute. We do have some more information on another story right now. Today is the first day of hurricane season. June 1st. The Atlantic hurricane season has begun with a big bang with Tropical Storm Barry and forming in the southeast Gulf of Mexico. Maximum sustained winds are at 45 miles per hour with higher gusts. Heavy rain has already in invaded the Florida Peninsula and rain will continue working its way northward tonight. S some areas may see 3 to 5 inches of rain with locally higher amounts. All of the rain is very good news for the Florida Peninsula, however. Some isolated tornadoes and water spouts are possible. If you take a look, this is the live Doppler right now at about 6.30 p.m. Here is Florida right in this area. It is forming a tropical storm shape from the WFSB radar that you can see right here. But uh, it's not bringing much else than just some rain showers across the state of Florida right now. You can take a better look at that Doppler right now. Take a look. That storm has been bringing a lot of rain to that area. And it is just the first day of hurricane season. We are now going to start with some more top stories and then get to that exclusive news right now. An Atlanta tuberculosis patient who may have defined health officials' warnings by going on a wedding trip to France to a p has not gotten married, a Greek official said Friday. Mayor Angelos Rousseaus of Sanatori, Greece, said a clerk from the municipality office informed him that Andrew Speaker and his fiancée, Sarah Kuske, did not have the necessary paperwork for a civil marriage. 
The number of people sickened since August by peanut butter tainted with salmonella has grown by more than 200. According to the new federal report, the outbreak first reported in February now includes 628 causes and in 47 states, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention said Thursday. It is the first update on the number of cases linked to the outbreak since early March, when officials said 425 cases has been confirmed in 44 states. Conagra Foods Inc. recalled its peanut butter after government investigators linked the bacteria outbreak to a home in Nebraska-based company Peter Pan and Great Value Peanut Butter. CDC said the number of salmonella cases has dropped substantially. Now the story everyone is dying to hear. In Celebrity News Now, Lydia Bennett, you may know her as the youngest Bennett sisters, has recently gotten eloped. 24 News is exclusive to this story with our source staying hidden. You may also know Miss Bennett has, has been gossipy, some think immature, but this has gotten her big time. Her family tried to keep it a secret, but that didn't work. To give you some background knowledge, many of the Bennett sisters have been looking for marriage. They seem to be interested in one point or another in Fitzwilliam Darcy, commonly known as Mr. Darcy, Charles Bingley, and George William Wickham. They have recently been attending balls at which they were supposed to become acquainted with other men. Mr. Collins was also interested in one of the girls, but they were not interested in him. Mr. Darcy is a wealthy man and the nephew of Lady Catherine de Bourgh. And Mr. Bingley was one of Darcy's friends who is also wealthy, but in this case we're talking about Mr. Wickham. He isn't very rich and is a militia officer. He was a bachelor until just a few days ago. That's right, Lydia has gotten eloped with Mr. Wickham. And the big thing is, it was a secret. She had persuaded her father to let her travel to Burgtown and spend the summer. Coincidentally, that was where Mr. Wickham had been stationed. They had eloped, and the way that their family found out was that Elizabeth received a letter stating that they had eloped and cannot be found. They've sent out a search party led by Mr. Gardner and Mr. Bennett. They have not yet been found, and Mr. Bennett has returned to the home empty-handed. Do you have any information regarding their location or any other details? Please contact our newsroom at 203-404-4855. We'll continue to cover this story, including how it will affect the family and if they're found. Now into weather, we do have more information on that story about the rain that has been coming down across the state. But we will start right now with the five-day forecast. You can take a look right now at the five-day forecast right behind me. You should be able to see that today it was 90 degrees, as well as Saturday, which was, which will be 82. Sunday, which Sunday, which is uh, 72, also Monday 80, Tuesday 72. Also, right now we do have a Doppler radar where you can see the thunderstorms that are moving across the state. Take a look. I just put up that live Doppler on the screen right now. You can take a look at those showers that are moving across that are very heavy in the New Haven area just in the last few hours they will be clearing up in just a little while take a look right behind me now I have that loaded up right now Danbury is getting a little bit but over here in New Haven where there's reds and yellows that is definitely where the hard part of the rain is coming down in between New Haven and 95 there is a red spot right here up near Torrington and New York right over here there's a little bit area this uh, radar has been provided by WFSB. We will bring you more weather updates in just a few minutes, but now we are going to continue with your national news. The United States and Spain share, share concerns on many fronts, but Spain is going its own way in relations with Cuba. U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice says two countries have recovered from the rift over Spain's withdrawal from troops from Iraq, she said, but Spain's communications with Cuban government remained a sore spot. Ray said the United States had problems with the way Spain withdrew from Iraq, not the fact that it took its troops out. Detailed plans for the U new U.S. Embassy now under construction in Baghdad appeared online in a major breach of tight security surrounding the sensitive project. 
that will be America's largest diplomatic mission abroad. Computer-generated predictions of the early complicated, heavily forfeited com compound were posted to the website Burger Device Yanger Inc., an American architectural firm that was contracted to design the massive facility in the Iraqi capital. Post was removed by the company from its website Thursday shortly after being con contacted about it from the State Department. In a quote, we work very hard to ensure the safety and security of them. We do have a report. You can take a look at it. It's a special report on Quinnipiac. Many students that did watch this webcast were at Quinnipiac from the Hamden High School. They hosted the event for Veterans for Memorial Day. That was a special event that social studies classes got to bring their students in to help them learn more about veterans. You can take a look at that special report as well as this webcast on video.abc24news.net. Before we go, we're going to have a last check on the weather right now. The temperature outlook for the rest of the week, Friday, 90 high, low 78, Saturday, 82, low 79, Saturday, Sunday, 72, the low is 70 degrees, Monday, 80, 78. Tuesday 72, 70, Wednesday 80, and low 76. Just admire that map for a few more seconds while we do finish up our show. That is all your news, weather, and sports for tonight. I'm Marcus Haroon. I hope you do join us back in our studio for another special story like this in the future, especially students from the Hamden High School who do not normally watch this show now that you have gotten to see it because of this English project for Miss Gallagher's class. I hope that everyone does tune in. We do our show is also available on TV Mondays at 8 p.m. on channel 27. For more information about 24 News, go to our website at abc24news.net. We also do have a tip line if you have any breaking news, call it at 203-404-4855. I'm Marcus Haroon. Have a great week, everyone. Twenty four News is copyright two thousand seven MMH Productions. This is Bill Elder speaking for Twenty Four News with Marcus Haroon. All your news in one place.